Hello everyone. In this video, I want to share my personal experience, how I fixed my iPhone. So which problems can you solve with this guide? First one is a boot loop. It is when your iPhone is always showing Apple logo and it's not turning on or turning off. So you have a constant loop of Apple logo. The second one is so called stuck in recovery mode. It is when your phone is showing that uh, you should connect it to iTunes or your computer and you cannot hard reset it as well. Uh, the last but not the least is a uh, iTunes error 14 occurring when you try to update the firmware of your iPhone via iTunes. And of course all of the f uh, following steps make sense only when you want to keep the data on the phone. Otherwise, you can just restore it in iTunes from the backup. If you have valuable data on your phone or you're not confident enough in doing the following steps, I would recommend to address this issue to the data recovery or smartphone repair professionals. Uh, and secondly, my troubleshooting guide is based only on a single case of my iPhone. So your experience can vary dramatically. So how everything started in my case, I had iPhone 8 Plus with iOS 14 installed. And for quite a long time, I was getting a message that my memory was nearly full. Uh, and on one day I started opening the apps. And as soon as I opened it, uh, they started crashing. And after a few crashes, my iPhone turned off and uh, I've seen that it started rebooting with Apple logo on it. And unfortunately, after one hour, the Apple logo didn't go off. So it was constantly booting with Apple logo, then rebooting for a short seconds and then booting again. And when I tried to connect it to the PC or Mac, iPhone was not detected in any way and I was not able to make any backup. So as a step zero, I recommend you to connect your iPhone to your computer or PC and to see if there are any reaction when you're connecting it, if there are any sound played by your PC or Mac or if iTunes or Finder starts detecting your iPhone, because if yes, there is still a possibility that you can make a backup. Unfortunately, in my case, uh, when I connected my iPhone to my computer, nothing was happening. So I proceeded to the next steps. So in my opinion, there are five different approaches how you can fix your iPhone. I sorted them out uh, according to the risk to your data and the complexity of the step. So for example, hard reboot would be much less risky to your data and easier to do than updating the firmware in DFU mode. The first thing you want to try is a hard reboot. So it's basically pressing a combination of the button to reboot your iPhone. There are different combinations for different models. So you'll find the link to the Apple tutorial in the description, how to hard reboot your phone and potentially it can solve the uh, Apple logo boot issue. In addition to that, you can check the video where the guy explains that some hardware issues may also be the uh, reason for Apple boot. And you can check your power button and battery connection. If the hard reboot didn't work for you and you still see the Apple boot loop, you can try the recovery mode. In general, entering the recovery mode would not affect your data in any way. However, while your phone is sitting in the recovery mode, you cannot make a backup of your data anymore. So you should be aware of this risk because sometimes after you enter the recovery mode, you cannot exit it anymore. And uh, as well as from for the previous step, there are different combinations for different models. And in addition, in addition to pressing the combination, you should connect your 
uh, iPhone to PC or Mac and press a combination of the buttons and then it would be entered into the recovery mode. If you've done everything right, you should see the following screen. While you are in recovery mode, you can try two simple steps how to exit the recovery mode. So basically you can do it with a combination of the buttons, the same as for the hard reboot. Or you can also try to do it with a 3U Tools utility. So 3U Tools is a completely free utility, is not a freemium where you cannot access some features unless you pay. So I recommend to try using it. Uh, you can find the link to download it in the description. Uh, after you will install this app and connect your phone to your PC or Mac, you will see that your phone is in the recovery mode and the first prompt uh, that you will see coming from the three tools is option to exit the recovery mode button. So you want to press it and see what happens. In my case, it didn't work and uh, the phone was still in the recovery mode after it rebooted. So if the first two steps didn't work for you and your phone is still in the Apple boot loop or stuck in the recovery mode, now you can try to update the firmware of your iPhone in iTunes. Before trying to update the firmware of your phone in iTunes, please make sure that you're using the original Apple cable, for example from the box, and that your iTunes is updated to the latest version. Always press update and never press restore, or otherwise you will erase all the data. And even sometimes when iTunes says, after unsuccessful tries, that now that your iPhone needs to be restored, you can just ignore it and try updating one more time. And in general, I recommend to try it at least five times, preferably using different uh, computers, different operating systems, swapping the cables and trying different USB ports. The tutorial how to do it you can find is a uh, before mentioned Apple tutorial video in the link in the description. Unfortunately in my case after 20 minutes of updating and 30% of on the iPhone update progress bar I was always getting this error 14 in iTunes and I tried several times using several machines, several cables and several ports, but I always got this error. So the next thing I tried is to update the firmware in 3U Tools utility. So as already mentioned, 3U Tools is a completely free utility and I'm not affiliated with them in any ways. As I see it, it is based on the open source project uh, Leap iMobile device. Uh, you can try this one instead. However, Leap iMobile device is only available for Linux and can be run only from the command line without interface. So for Windows and Mac users, I would recommend to use 3U tools instead. In order to update your iPhone, in 3U Tools utility, at first you should go to the Flash and Jailbreak on top. Then you select the Easy Flash section on the left. And uh, you will see the list of different firmwares. You want to press the Download button near the latest release firmware, non-beta one. So uh, in my case it was 14.3. And after the firmware is downloaded, please check uh, if you have checked the option to retain user's data, this option makes sure that uh, during the flash of your iPhone, all your user data will be saved. And after this, you press flash and uh, the phone will start updating. However, in my case, after I tried this for several times, I was still getting the error 14 so I decided to try something else. I can only recommend doing this step in case you want to exactly follow all the steps that I did, because I'm not sure how this step affected the further steps. 
so in general I decided to update the firmware to the latest beta version instead of the latest release version. In order to do this, in 3U tools you go to the firmware section, then you find the latest uh, beta version with the biggest number on it. So in my case it was 5043D in the end. Uh, then you press download. And after it's downloaded, you can go back to the Easy Flash section and select uh, this firmware for updating instead of the release one. But in the end, I was still getting error 14s. I tried for several times as well, updating to the beta version, but I was always getting error 14 on 38% of the progress bar. So the last but not the least method that actually worked for me was to update the firmware in so-called DFU mode. Before trying this method, you should be aware that it may lead to the partial data loss or even to the complete data loss on your device. And furthermore, if something happens during the flashing in DFU mode, for example, like a power outage or you will disconnect the cable or something, you may potentially break your phone so it will be no longer be functional at all. So I recommend this step only if all the previous steps uh, didn't work for you and you are confident in what you are doing. Because DFU mode was not supposed to be used by the customers and only by the service technicians, it's quite tricky to enter it. So it would be more difficult than entering the recovery mode. Uh, you can find a link uh, to which button combinations you should press. And also you would have some small tutorial how to enter the DFU mode in the uh, 3U tools utility itself. So in order to make an update uh, in the DFU mode by using 3U tools, you should go to the Pro Flash section on the left. And here you will see the tutorial from 3U tools for your phone model, how to enter this uh, DFU mode. However, I tried several times and this one uh, didn't work for me. So I went to the YouTube and found another video how to enter it. And uh, after trying for about 10 minutes, I was successfully entered into the DFU mode. And you know that you are in a DFU mode only when you see a completely black screen. And also 3U tools will tell you that your phone is now in the DFU mode. So after you successfully entered the DFU mode, you will be probably seeing something close to this screenshot. Uh, please read and follow all the instructions in the middle and make sure that you checked the retain users data option on the right. However, please be aware that even if you check this option, there is still a high chance that you will lose your users data after the flashing process. And if you entered the DFU mode, you have downloaded the firmware, you did all the steps in the middle and check the options on the right, you will see the flash option and so you can start flashing your device in the DFU mode. Here you can see the log file of my flashing process in DFU. So as you can see it was successful and it took about 18 minutes to flash. After the successful flash in the DFU mode you will probably see such screen on your iPhone that it is attempting data recovery. In general, it is a good sign and uh, don't worry, for me it took the additional 15 to 20 minutes uh, to finish. And after this process was finished, my phone turned on, I entered my password and I was able to see all of my user data in place. So after my phone turned on, I instantly started deleting the unnecessary apps, even without opening them, 
to release some space uh, in my memory so this problem uh, wouldn't occur the second time in a row and then after this I started uh, the local backup of my iPhone in iTunes and as a general recommendation uh, try to keep some free space on your iPhone and make sure that you have regular backups uh, either on your machine or in iCloud. If you have tried all the previous steps for several times and nothing worked for you, unfortunately right now there is only one solution. It is to restore your iPhone and unfortunately to lose all the user data. Or otherwise you can search and wait for other third party solution or to wait until some kind of Apple fix. I hope this guide will help you to fix your phone and to recover all of your user data. You will find all the necessary links in the description. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section. And good luck and have a nice day.